This is Esther Goldberg for Totally Twisted America, sharing some of the most totally twisted headlines you just might have missed. In the news, America ate a restaurant chain out of business. Well, wrestling turned my son into a flaming homosexual. Some guy stole a blow-up doll from a dead man's home, and the world's most arrested man kicked the bucket. Oh. Well, Endless Shrimp used to be a yearly annual event at Red Lobster. But see, the folks at Thai Union, Bangkok-based canned seafood company, and Red Lobster's largest investors saw this as a promotion, as a way to sell off mountains of shrimp it was catching and turning it into an everyday item. Anyway, Middle America screamed, Endless Shrimp? Oh, God, come on, Ethel, load up the kids in the pickup where we're going to feast. <laughs> Never underestimate fat Americans. <laughs> the change cost Red Lobster $11 million and they filed for bankruptcy. Boy, they, where's the tartar sauce? Nothing screams stupid like a UFC fighter who has been hit a few times in the head who thinks sending his kid to public school might turn him gay. <laughs> well, UFC fighter Bryce Mitchell thinks just that. Looks a little inbred, doesn't he? Bryce, it ain't public school that might influence your son. Perhaps it's the fact you make a living half-naked, greased up, rolling around, rubbing your body against another half-naked, greased up man. You know what, Bryce? Your kid's gonna end up with an OnlyFans. Huh. Now here's a whacked out story. A funeral home worker, Ryan Smith in Nebraska, has been accused of attempting to smuggle a sex doll from a dead man's home. See, at the time, Smith worked for Mid-America First Call, which handles removals, transportation, embalming, cremation, and ships out dead bodies. You know, a fun job. <laughs> Must be fun to bring your kid to work day. <laughs> anyway, Smith and a co-worker were dispatched to collect the dead body along with law enforcement. However, when he got inside, Ryan noticed a very real life-size version of an adult female blow-up doll on the bed. <laughs> Allegedly, he returned to the residence later that afternoon carrying a body bag and telling the apartment staff that he was acting on behalf of the sheriff's office and he had to collect the sex doll for <clears throat> evidentiary purposes. Well, after he was allowed in, management realized that the front door was dead bolted. Yeah, so they went over, knocked on the door, confronted Smith who answered the door. His shirt was untucked, his pants were in disarray. <laughs> Well, I guess you could say he was busted for busting a nut. <laughs> and finally, the world's most arrested man has died. Henry Earl, whose criminal history included more than 1,500 busts, passed away last week. He was 74. For the last several years of his life, Earl resided at a nursing home in Kentucky where he racked up the majority of his rest. <laughs> I mean, you know, look, look, here's a collection of many of his mug shots. Aren't they just, I, they're fabulous. Anyway, according to jail records, Earl would usually spend several days behind bars before being released back to the streets of Lexington where the little 5'4 local celebrity was affectionately known as James Brown. Ah! And I so we salute Earl as our Totally Twisted Story of the Week. There you go. This is Esther Goldberg for Totally Twisted America, and we hope to see you next time. <laughs> oh, Jose, uh, Mama needs a... Mama needs a, mama needs a little shock. <laughs> oh God.